and the black stone. Huh? Please unmute you too. Huh? Go ahead, my friend. You are live on here. So you are a Muslim, and what? How I can help you? You know, ACP. I'm a Muslim, but uh, right now I was, um, I'm standing at the crossroad between uh, Muslim and Christian. So can you convince me um, that uh, Islam is a cult uh, religion? Well, this is what I'm doing. I mean, I have, so I, have a, I have millions of videos to convince you, my friend. I mean. What, okay, what is let us let us make it simple. What is not convincing to you that I am not convincing you yet? I mean, why are you still a Muslim? So because uh, hmm. you know I, I'm from uh, Indonesia, and then every single day uh, I heard that the uh, you know Azan five times a day, hmm. and then people around me is. Uh, uh, Muslim, so, uh, but uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm in the uh, a crossroad right now between Islam and Christian. You called me last so, time, right? You called me. Uh, you called me a few days ago or yesterday. I'm not sure because I see that you called me before, correct? Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, what is convincing still about Islam for you? So I can show you that this is wrong. What is holding you into Islam? That. That's why. Uh, People told me that the um, Islam is a peace religion, and then you mm. know, and, um, but um, from the bottom of my heart is the um, because I heard your video, you know, for a long time ago, mm. and then, but I still, I don't know. Well, that's why I, I was trying to call you to confuse, convince me um, that Islam is a cult religion. Well, I mean, to, to prove a cult, it's very easy. Any, all cults, they share the same thing. That's the prophet, he want to sleep with the women who follow him. He want their money. And this is exactly what Muhammad he said. Before, before I answer you, just wait. Uh, 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 this ultimate fault he's saying, I challenge you to put uh, King James. This is King James. This is I am. We did not add anything. I am here is the same as I am, the living God. This is I am. This is a translation. They are just using it as an English word. But the fact I am God, I am Yahweh, I am the God of Moses. And it says here, the light of the world. So this idiot, he want to say, it says only I am in this translation, but he forgot it says that he is the light of the world. It says I am before I am the resurrection, but he's saying he is I am the resurrection. So I am is follow, follow by description have to do only with God. So you are an idiot, the one who is saying that in text uh, ultimate fault. And here we go. And again, this is a translation. You go to the original, you will find that I am here is the same statement as a name given by God to Moses. And this is not an English word mean I am as the word you read it. It is a Hebrew word for the self-existence. I am who I am. And yet he will say to me where it says that. So there is no need to repeat myself because obviously uh, repeating to a donkey will not help. This is why you always memorize the Quran, but you don't understand it, for you are a donkey. Go ahead, my friend. So when the Muslim they say to you that uh, Muhammad is uh, peaceful, you see, he's peaceful or not is not going to be really a big problem because maybe, maybe Muhammad people they force him into war. Maybe he was a good guy, but people they force him to be fight back. Maybe this is what the Muslim they say to us. But the truth is. Muhammad, not only he is not peaceful, Muhammad is a fraud. Every single verse in the Quran proving that Muhammad is a fraud. As an example, if we go in the Quran, do you believe really that the baby created from a dead blood? Yeah. Do you believe in that? You think it's true? Baby, what? I'm sorry, I think. Do you believe? Do you agree with the Quran? 
saying that the baby is created from a dead blood? No. Okay, do you agree that the sperm became... Can you see... Uh, uh, because uh, as far as I know, uh, women, they don't have a, a sperm. They have an egg. And then only no, no, for, a forget, man forget. Has a, yeah. Um, okay, but the Quran is saying clearly. Sperm that. Uh, the Quran is saying clearly that the sperm became a congealed blood. What do you think about that? Maybe um, at the time they don't have, um, you know, a scientist to um, prove that the woman have a. Uh, egg and then a man half of sperm my, my friend there's nothing but, but but you see remember this is the one is talking here is God so what that time I mean are you saying that at that time Allah need to go to school he is not learned and those Western uh, Christians uh, uh, Jews they knew better than Allah that would be funny so when God he says and we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood that is a stupid so forget about Muhammad being terrorist and he was terrorist he being a rapist and forget about that. We will let it go. But God, he do not know how the baby is created. Of course he does. But here we go in the front of the verse in front of us, chapter 23, verse number 14, saying that the sperm made into a clot of a congealed blood, and congealed blood is dead. When you cut yourself, when you cut yourself, a blood will be dry in your skin. That is the congealed blood. Dead blood. So how this is can be from yeah, um, see what, what I'm trying to understand that may, maybe um, you know the people at the time they because as far as I know Quran is writing by the people right and then when the God said the, um, uh, what is that um, a woman they have a sperm or they have an egg but at the time people thinking about maybe woman has a sperm I mean, friend, a sperm too. okay what at the time we are talking about god god he should not open his mouth unless it's true so he did not correct them now he made them believe in something stupid so what the point of this i give you false information if you do not know then keep your mouth shut so allah did not keep his mouth shut he he said he know he's telling them how he created the baby Okay, how he created the baby, this is stupid. And then the congealed blood made into a clot, and then the clot made into, into a lump, and then the lump made out of, of the lump to the bones, and then the close of the bones. So the last thing, the last thing Allah he made is the skin, which is stupid. I mean, he closed the bone with the flesh, so the, 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 not, the, not the skin, sorry, the meat. Your flesh was the last thing to exist. That's stupid. So if you look at the process, you are a sperm, then you became a dead blood and then you became a clot of dead blood and then you became a piece of uh, of uh, like uh, like a, ge a gel you know like a hard hard bone and then that hard bone uh, uh, closed with the flesh this is this is god the creation how how, how such a mistake how such a st stupid city statement can be exist Maybe it's a miracle. Miracle to say something is stupid? I can say something stupid too. Okay, I'm going to mix a miracle for you now. I created the human being from zucchini. Zucchini became burkini and the burkini... I don't know about that though. But what do you think about my Quran, about the bikini verse? Here we go. I created man from zucchini, and the zucchini became a burkini, and the burkini went to Burkina Faso, and Burkina Faso became a bikini, and then women, they are wearing bikini. Praise be Alto to Christian Prince, the maker of the bikini. Allahu Akbar. What is this? So either we open our mouth and we say something smart, or we shut up. Oh, God. 
So why you why you are not being brave and you say I want to leave Islam? Come on. You are laughing already. I can't tell. You know, I hear you. You are laughing at this garbage. So do you think it's the uh, Islam is a false? I don't think. I'm sure. Religion. I'm I'm sure, my friend. Did you hear any Muslim can give us a single answer correctly for the religion? How come those Christian Muslims, they do not know anything about the religion? Did you hear the callers before? Not a single one of them hear anything. And we say to them that Jesus says, I am the light. They say, what well, Jesus says, I'm God. I am the resurrection. They say, never. This is your lying, fabricating. It says in the front of you. So what do you think? <clears throat> See, right now I, I, I think I got a lot. Uh, it's like a butterfly in my, my stomach. And Will I you? don't know, I got a I headache it, and then... I think it's time to drink a camera you my friend. What do you think? What do you think about the Dr. Muhammad advising people to drink camera you far as I know, it's just urine is uh, the virus is, I mean, you know, all the uh, sick virus. Yeah, the, 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 there is, there, you can go right now to the United Nations Health Department. You will find there is a big warning for people who drink camel milk and camel urine. It's very, very dangerous, have very deadly viruses, more deadly than, than Corona. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not only camel urine, it's uh, all the urine is coming out of, you know, the body is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, God. <coughs> so do you think, do you think uh, I have to leave Islam? I don't think, my friend, it's you who need to think because this is about salvation. Do you really believe there's God, he will make your penis endless? What you would do with this penis if, you, if it's endless? So you live in you live in Jakarta and your penis now is in Istanbul. You receive a call from the police in Istanbul. Ta -da 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 -da. Aman Rabbi Aman, your your penis eat your Roman in our country, Mr. Fahman. Okay, what 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 your penis doing? So you are living in a place and your penis in the other galaxy. I mean, what what, what how is stupid this promise is? I mean, what I will do with this penis? I'm going to use it as a, a, a as a pipe for oil or cable for the internet. If my wife is next to me, why the penis is endless? Wife, do you see the penis? No, honey, I don't see it. Uh, do you think we hit the wall? No, honey, you did not hit the wall. You did hit the uh, sausages machine. Oh, well, you are going to cut it, make it sausages now. What kind of God this God is? What kind of God he promised you? Women, you will see the marrow of their bones. What is that? What kind of God he promised you? Women, their ass is one mile. To be honest with you, I like, I, I like, you know, I mean, the, the big ones are so, I mean, you know, all, all, all of us, we, men, we, we like like uh, uh, 65 inch, uh, 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 70 inch, you know, like Samsung, but one mile, one mile, not inch, one mile. Do you know how many inches that? Millions of inches. So what kind of God do you promise me a woman in such a size? A size doesn't matter in Islam. By the way, when you go to heaven, I want you to take a selfie when you climb the butt of your wife, who her mile is, by the way, it's very hard because it's smooth. Allah, he spent 1,000 year to, to, to smooth the skin of those women. I mean, look at this stupidity. How the God of Islam, he say, be is going to be. And it took him 1,000 years just to smooth the ass of a woman. I mean, why? She is made from concrete. Even if it's concrete, you can go buy a machine from Home Depot. It's going to smooth the concrete for you in two minutes. 1,000 years to smooth his skin. Somebody call Allah. He can order from Amazon some Nivea or Vaseline. So what do you think, my friend? Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm. I don't know. Maybe it's 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 not Islam is not a false. It's a I think it's a joke. So maybe I I, it's I, a, I leave it's Islam. Not, it's not a false. It's cult. It's false. Or, I don't know. I don't understand. It's, it's not just cult. I mean, it's, it's a cult. joke. I mean, you know. It's a joke. Exactly. Thank you. So you decide to leave Islam, my friend. That's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Finally, finally, we, 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 we start using our brain. That's wonderful. That's a good sign. I mean, there's no way this God is a God. I mean, look at this God, my friend. Uh, oh, stupidity. And you know, like in this heaven, Allah, he promised us, you know, I'm just, I, I, I will do the opposite. Usually, I Muslims, they call me and they leave Islam. I'm, I will try today different direction. I'm going to try to make a convert to Islam back. Don't you like big breasts? Be honest with me. You think so? You like big breast? Okay, my friend. Christ don't give you big breast. Okay. Allah give you big breast. I, I advise you to go back to Islam. What do you think? Look, Quran chapter 78 promise you that you will have huge, round breast. What do you think? <laughs> now let me let me let me draw and uh, draw them for you. So maybe you think about it in a better way. I'm trying to convince you to go back to Islam. You see, always I make Muslims leave Islam. But today I am uh, going to help you. Brother, look, this is a big boobs. And those are big nipples. They are nipples, not nipples. And look, look, they are like big. If I tell you how big, this is a, this is a size of a truck, uh, uh, you know, like a 16-tire truck. They are, and by the way, they have, those nipples are very long. Long nipples, you know. They are very long. MashaAllah. So you do not need to even to put your head down. You can start, you can, like, it's like uh, what the things they call it, you know, you drink with it, uh, your, your juice. So they have like this thing coming out from their nipples. And brother, you put your mouth here and you start suckling. Alhamdulillah. Mm. Take selfie. What do you think? I mean, why you are you leaving this religion? Wait, this is the Quran. Here we go. The verse in the front of us. I mean, what? Here we go. Huh? This God, he is talking about heaven. Suddenly, he jumped to talk about boobs. What the boobs have to do with this? I have no idea. You tell me. And the Muslim, they say to us, don't misquote. Read the verse before it. Okay. The verse before it, there's garden. The verse after it, there's big boobs. The verse after it, there's full cup. What is the connection? So, let us make it clear. We have a garden, brother. Okay. This is the garden. So we have trees here. We have to be honest, brother. There's trees here, brother. Okay, there's trees. Da, 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 trees, okay? And there's more trees here, brother. Okay, because we are in the garden, brother. In the garden. Okay. And Allah, and now there is a cup. What there is? There is a cup, brother. Okay, what, what the heck is that? There's a cup. Yes, brother. Okay. Here we go. This is the cup. So what is the connection between the cup and the garden and the boobs, unless this is a pimp house. It's 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 obvious, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's funny. Thank you very much. So, my friend, as long as you are from Indonesia and you are you left Islam already and you agree with me. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior? Let us clean this dirt from the front of us because we don't want to talk about the Messiah, yet we are seeing this garbage in the front of us. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior? Well, I have to talk to my, you know, my family first and then you know, aren't you? Aren't you? Because, aren't you a grown man? Why you need to talk to your family? Why you need your family? Are your family they will convert first before you, or you convert as a man making decisions? No, uh, my my family and my people. I mean, not not my people. I mean, people around me are most of most of them is a, a Muslim. So so. Yeah, are you going uh, okay you left Islam already so now I'm, I'm asking you why you don't accept the Messiah as your savior I 
You accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior? Yes, sir. I mean to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you accept the Messiah that he is God in the flesh who came to this earth and he is the only Savior who will save you. You accept that the Messiah, he died in the cross and you accept that by him you will be only saved. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Wonderful, my friend. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for one soul, lost soul, is coming back to him. This is how much our Lord, our Savior, he loves you, my friend. So I'm so happy for you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. If there's anything you thank want to say, thank you for convincing me. I'm not, I'm not the one who convinced you, my friend. The Lord, he opened your eyes. I am just here as a brother speaking to you. I am no one. My name is nobody. You don't even know my name. You never met me, you never saw me. So don't thank me. Thank the Messiah, for he is our provider. He is our guidance. He is our truth. It's not a Christian prince. I'm a sinner. I'm nobody. So you should be thankful only for one person. His name is a glory. His act is holy. His word is a truthful and he do as he say. That is the Messiah. Yes, sir. Now, do you like to say anything in your language to the Indonesian people? Some word that I have to tell to anybody in Indonesia in my lang in Indonesian language. Okay. Um, just for a couple seconds. Breathe. Um, Take it easy. Take it easy. You know, I, I know you are stressed and you are uh, etc. But the Lord, He will, He will, He will give your tongue the wisdom to speak. He will give you the ability to refresh yourself. And to, he, he is the comforter. He will be with you. So don't worry. Uh, yeah, uh, this message is for not only for a Muslim only. It's for atheist, Buddha, Hindu, and you know, non-Christian. Um, ya kepada bapa bapa saudara, oh bapa bapa ibu ibu saudara sekalian yang dikasihi Tuhan Yesus. Uh, Coba bukalah hati Anda, pikiran Anda untuk mendengarkan Yesus uh, Kristus. So open your heart, open your mind to accept Jesus Christ. Please, the end of the world is near. Choose wisely. I didn't, I mean, saya tidak mem, mendorong Anda, mem, memaksa Anda, I'm, I don't forcing you uh, untuk masuk Kristen, to come, Christ, to, to become a Christian, but, tapi cobalah kalian pikir, um, dunia ini semakin tua, a judgment day will come close real close at the end of the corner uh, choose your religion wisely thank you thank you my friend i'm happy for you <laughs> may, yeah. yeah may the lord bless you may the yeah. lord bless indonesia may the lord open the eyes of the beloved indonesian we love them and the messiah you love them and remember even in islam the name of the messiah is very special even islam teach that there is false, the devil, he will come and he will claim that he is the Messiah. He will not claim to be Muhammad because Muhammad is already satanic. So the devil himself, he will try to convince you that he is the Messiah according to Islam. Why? Because this is the only good name. The devil will try to copy him according to Islam. For they, this is the name can be convincing. For his name is holy, his act is good, he is wonderful and he is a miracle. That is the Messiah. And all this description, by the way, we can find him in Islam. Jesus is born as a miracle, which means he is himself, he is a miracle. 
Jesus himself chapter 19 verse 19 is holy he is holy even the hadith confirm that every human being commits sin except Jesus he have no sin never Moses have Muhammad have all of them they have sin but there's only one name even in the cult of Muhammad which is a false ugly stupid cult confirm that there is no name beside Jesus can be to co compare so my friend I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah and God bless you thank you very much Shifi. God welcome. bless you too you're welcome let any Indonesian you know they want to they wanna talk let them call oh. me and I will be happy to have them all right thank in you including your family I will all right thank you god bless you i try to my best all right take care all right thank you bye bye steve bye bye